first step is to measure out the length of the box and for making a 36 inch box I'm going to measure 36 inches and I'm going to measure a little bit further so that I can make sure the end of the board the the other end of the board there is clean so mark at 36 and a half inches and um, I have a miter chop saw here and basically just line up the blade with the cut I've taken the blade guard off um, Use safety precautions. I've been doing this for a long time, so. So we've made the first cut, and this is a little bit long. I'm turning the board around, and we're gonna measure from the nicely cut end, and you can see we're at 36 and a half. I'm gonna mark it at 36. I'm using a pen, you can use a pencil, whatever you want. Try to keep your lines accurate so all the pieces that you cut that go on each side are the same size. You don't want to have one side of the box 36 and a quarter, the other side 36 and then try to join them together. It's not going to look square. So this is your first piece. It's 36 inches long. These marks can be sanded off. They put those on at the lumber yard, and this can be sanded at the end to take off any little spots or anything you see, make it look nicer. So we're just gonna cut another one the, the exact same way. You can even put this board on top of the other one and line up the edges and then draw a line. Just be careful when you do it that you're not losing accuracy. So feel the ends, make sure they're good. Draw a line. Cut on the opposite side of the line. If a little bit of the line is left on, that's okay. You can sand that off later. So here we have the two pieces that we just cut. Um, you can see to make a box, we're going to need several more pieces. We're going to need another piece like this to go on the other side. So I'm going to use one of these pieces and do the same thing I did before, which is put it on another board. I'm keeping it away from the edge because I want to save a little bit of room so I can make sure that it's nice and straight. And so I'm just going to trace on the far end of the board and draw a line. And then I'm going to draw a line on this end of the board that's near the original edge. And you can see that. Um, you want to cut on the outside of both lines. If you cut on the inside, you're going to end up short on your length. So, I'm cut this one. See, it's lined up. Fingers out of the way. Here's the one cut. Here's the other cut. Now if you don't have a miter saw, you can always borrow one or you could do it with a hand saw. Um, and you're gonna need a you're gonna need like a little square or something to make sure this line is straight when you do that. Um, that's the only thing. So these are the three pieces of wood that are all identically cut to 36 inches, you can see. One's gonna be the bottom and two are gonna be the sides. And it's going to go together like this. So I have a piece of the end that I cut off. And you can see that's the thickness of the board. So when the piece is inside, like that, you know that you've got to screw in. You can see where the middle of the board is, which is what you're trying to get at. So you want to mark about a half an inch in on the sides to approximately go through the middle of that board with the screw. You can see it's going to go through like that basically and then this one's longer I'm going to use that on the bottom so I'm going to make a couple of marks that are about a half an inch in from the side a half an inch up from the bottom that should put us in the middle right here we want to try to put the screw right through there, the first one, once we line that up. And so then you can take your measurements, 
and you can measure evenly. Do this on both sides. Put one in the middle and then also the distance between those two dots, between the middle and this dot, measure that and put another dot there. It's nice when the dots are uniform because then you have a uniform screw pattern and then it looks nice and neat. So these screws come with this little tiny bit that fits in there and I've got it in a cordless drill and um, I'm just touching my edges here to make sure that I'm lined up nicely that it's smooth and then I want to look down from the top and make sure that this board on the bottom isn't sticking out further and it looks pretty good and now I can put a screw right in the middle straight down into the other board and I'm just going really slow to lessen the chances of the wood splitting and I just countersunk it just a little bit. So I've put this, the screws in, um, the rest of the screws, and for this side, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So what you don't want to do is try to take the easy way out and jam this board in there, because it almost fits, because you'll bend this thing out of shape. You want to set it on the outside, and you can Scribe those lines with a pen. So just draw the lines and then you're going to cut it on the chop box. So you can see I've already assembled one side to show you what it looks like. And it's in between. And I only have one screw at the top. This is the screw that's screwing the bottom on. So there's one screw at the top on each side. And then I put two screws in the bottom. And then you see less screw holes and it looks cleaner. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Although this board fits, you don't want to jam it in because you might split this wood. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this like a cap on the outside and I'm going to mark with a pen or a pencil, I'm going to mark the line on each side. I like it with the pen because you can see it better and it's a sharper line. Now I'm going to cut on the outside of each and that should fit right in. flat side down. You can see that fits nicely. It's pretty level and that looks like it's going to be a good fit and we're going to screw that in now. So we've made the whole box and you can see it just needs to be sanded. If you're a little past the line on some of these you can just sand it off with sandpaper on a block. You could use a, an orbital sander to clean it up. Use like 220 grit or you know 180 something smooth that you're not going to tear the wood and then smooth it down with sandpaper with the grain and then you're done you're ready to put it on brackets you can see